band deck. Hercules is over the rail. Roger. North heading. Come on, Octans, figure it out. Get there. You, you, you need better. Van deck, Hercules is in the water. Let us know when you're ready for release. Go for it. Ready for release. Van deck, Hercules is away. Roger. And uh, Hercules oh, is past the transom. Never mind. Roger. Too far. Van deck, Hercules, umbilical is all the way out. Roger. There we Sure, I think we're good. Thank you. Ooh. This is an audio slate for dive 1985. UTC time is 202605. Mark. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> okay, gauges bubble, please. Can I start? And uh, Atalanta is away. Roger, ready to dive, dive, dive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, did it. Dive, dive, dive. <coughs> Can I start this? Yes. Cool. Uh, Cage is good. Ground fault's good. All right. What we got good here? Start. Front row, do you want me to launch the dive cell though? Sure. Thank you.
Let's turn the craft on. See what it's doing. Bridge nav. Hi. Uh, we can hold position here. Thanks. Hi, our team. Can we power on the ONC CDD if it isn't already? It's on. Thank you. You're welcome. So we're making a request, it doesn't have to be now. Can we move the ship Warp. a little bit? Probably maybe Atalanta like here. Oh yeah, this, sure. We had about this heading earlier and these ended up being up here and we got very cozy with them. Yeah, well we have so a different heading so we might not. Cause like last night they were a little bit south yeah. of these points. Yeah, this morning the ship's heading was either here or here, I can't remember. And they were far north. Oh, okay. Yeah. For sure. Okay, thank you. In the next, you know, two to three two hours. Two to three hours, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is not an urgent request. I just don't want to forget is all. Gotcha. I want someone else to forget. <laughs> yeah, it won't be your problem, the next shift problem. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess I could turn a light or four on. Those are the things that we do. Oh, lights are nice. We like lights. We like lights, yeah. A goose? I don't know. <laughs> I never oiled a goose before. <laughs> One of Josh's main hobbies. I have to catch a goose. Goose oiling. Yeah. Uh, I think that would. That would get me arrested in Hawaii. Like the one goose-like creature is protected. Oh, yeah, Van Deck, I'll stop at seven five meters. Controls been sent. Roger, have control. Let's go. Here I go. Here I go. Full beans down. Four beams down. I don't no, need this. No beams yet. No beams. But wait. Any minute now. <coughs> what? Scroll up. Nope. Yep. Burp. Burp. There you go. Mm-hmm. Why am I not faster? I want to be faster. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking the cheese. Pick pickles? Pickles beets. Hey, there's little arrows on these. Oh, little that. arrows? Little arrows? Oh, I know that. I know I'm really working on it. Mm. Oh, so uh, yeah, please.
right. Let's do uh let's do this. Oh, oh that's not quiet, everybody. Maybe they're writing their dive plan. Well, I guess they don't get a transect. Nope. Well, last night they had, or this morning, they had like the longest transect. Yeah, the double? Yeah. yeah we that did that was double painful. as well. Yeah. Were you part of that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, we did one of those for the top thousand meters and the bottom thousand meters. It's like, all right. It took forever, like four hours. <coughs> yep. Yep, it's an entire watch. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You think they could just play this at half speed? Half speed. <laughs> Wouldn't that do it? Right, yeah, I think so. I don't understand. Too much science involved. Just gives it more time for things to drift past. I guess, yeah. Or, you know, it's easy standard. And so you can be comparable, spending the same amount of time at each depth. Right. I don't understand. We did some b bottom surveys last night, this morning, whatever. We saw bottom stuff, whatever. Bottom and as stuff. soon as we were transiting back to the site, we saw like this cool squishy. And then we saw uh, like a ray or a skate or something like that, like yeah. a bunch of more exciting stuff. But that wasn't part of the video part, survey. Of course. So <laughs> That's how it count. works every time. Yeah. Octopus, we saw an octopus as well. Hey, would you mind running this downstairs if you're going down that way? And if not, don't worry about it. Okay, great, thank you. Or you won't, that's fine too. I don't care. I don't care what you do. Of course that figures after we're done with our watch, you guys see all the cool stuff. It's a magnet. Hmm. You don't get to use these buttons until you graduate. <laughs> what do you see? It's also to access the back of these things. Monitors. And I think it's a transformer. Where's a transformer? Somewhere, I think. Over there. That's where it is. It's right there. Yeah, that's just for the van itself, I believe. That's the high voltage one too, right?
Hi, Marley. Hello. We have a new um, guest visit SCF in our shift. Normally, we see Kim back there. So yeah, I'm um, just uh, sitting in for a little bit. Currently updating the website. Give me one minute. Awesome. What a uh, what depth are we going to on this dive? Does anybody know? Oh, do we have a dive 2658. plan? Twenty six fifty eight. Twenty six fifty eight again. Got it. Yeah, same place. Similar stuff. Because we got to get that third mooring. Is that what the? Is that all we're doing on this dive? Is the mooring? I guess I could go on SPL. Yeah, that would be helpful. Thank you. Yeah, that's less one-sided conversation. We're doing all sorts of stuff on this dive, Pete. Awesome. First thing we're going to do is uh, two-wire operation deployment and recovery of a hydrophone. Look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the ONC folks are preparing for the hydrophone deployment. Once we get on bottom and disconnect the old one, they're going to put the new one right next to it. Something like that. And then... Uh, Switch the hook over and recover the other one. And then recover the last mooring in the morning. Yeah. And maybe some video transects in the meantime while it's dark and not mooring recovery time. Mm -hmm. We'll see how fast everything goes. Was it me or did we have a very distinct ocean smell coming from the deck after the mooring came up? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, ripe out there. Yeah, you were up close and personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what lives in the deep sea really just ought to stay there because it <laughs> smells pretty terrible as soon as it's on the surface. I guess it's all relative. I was they don't think they smell. This little creatures. But I, I was working with a team of scientists one time that were uh, releasing rehabilitated sea turtles back into the ocean. Cool. They had washed up on shore and been cold stunned and then rehabilitated in local aquariums and we took them out to the Gulf Stream to release them. And it was like my first time, one of the first times working with a group of marine scientists like that and I was so stoked to like get to hold a sea turtle. And those things smelled so terrible. <laughs> But it was it was cool. Uh, Trevor, we got a question asking if the remote winch control has been repaired. Oh yeah, we unplugged it and then we plugged it back in. Is oh. that is that really what you did? Yeah, we did more troubleshooting to make sure that was actually the problem, <laughs> and it was. We might have got a deal for the longshoremen. Yeah, I heard that. Ooh. 30 minutes after yeah. this was canceled. Yeah. Like, oh, we don't have to do that job? <laughs> we can strike a deal. Uh. Hey, you want to speed up so I don't have to slow down? Oh, gosh. Yes, I do. Don't slow down. I'll speed up. We got a comment that says the new cable cutter is a fantastic piece of equipment. Well done to the amazing team who maintain and operate Hercules in Atalanta. That's actually a piece of ONC equipment they brought out just for this cruise. They own that device and we planned ahead and figured out a way to integrate it into Hercules. And last night was its maiden voyage on Herc, so it worked great. But that will be returning with Ocean Networks Canada at the end of this job. We actually broke a teeny tiny itty bitty ball of champagne on it. <laughs> oh yeah? How tiny was it? <laughs> it yeah, Josh. was an itty bitty teeny weeny yellow bottle Shh. of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Even that wasn't the dumbest thing you've had today. No, not today. <laughs> Everyone recall we had a strange smell on the boat earlier today. <laughs> oh, that was just never fun. <laughs> Hookie. Champagne. I, that's the first time I've ever heard that word before. <laughs> you can call it that. Uh, been out here for too long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does this word that says remote control mean? Whoa. Oh, it's for the bubble. Look how well it works. Oh my golly. Okay, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Almost nailed it. Almost nailed it. Camera two. Go to. Go to camera fail. fail. Close. We'll do that. Stop. I don't want to see that in my life. Okay, Trevor, you gotta slow down now. No. You speed up. I can't. Yeah, don't speed up, Josh. We're good. They're like perfectly level, it's perfect. Perfectly perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say it was champagneful? <laughs> <laughs> the song was. <laughs> hey, Megan. Uh. What if for the rest of the shift you didn't say anything negative? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm just bugging you. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Champagneful, yeah. <laughs> Are you okay over there? <laughs> just got you. Just a lot of layers of funny in there. It sounds like the name of a really bad band. Champagneful? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a terrible band. <laughs> yeah. A Tuesday night at your local dive bar band. Hey guys, we're Champagneful. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five, five. Yeah, no, stop. <laughs> Let me check, please. <laughs> What's this thing? I guess we'll never know. It's a thing. Have you ever said... There's a fish. Check, please. At a There's restaurant. A fish. No. Hi, fish. I usually say, oh, I'll get the bill. And then I realize I'm in the States. And I'll say, I'll get the check. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where did that come from? In your head? I don't know. How do I, get I can't look in myself like that. No, Josh. <laughs> What's up? Oh. What made you think of that? Have you ever said... I'll Check, please? Yes. Because Trevor said check, please. Oh. We don't say that in Canada. Oh. Do you guys say that? Check, please. I think I just do this with my hand. Yeah. I do <laughs> that sometimes. If the <coughs> server isn't paying attention. Yeah. Well, you got to do one of these. Yeah, definitely don't do that. No. Be as rude as possible. I ordered the hamburger with cheese, and I was brought a cheeseburger. Nice. I would like my meal for free. <laughs> I'd like to speak to the manager. Perp. Oh yeah, can we move north? Or yeah. 
somewhere. Sure. Please. We can we can move somewhere. Let's let's go somewhere. Somewhere somewhere not we, here. You don't like here. Why don't we go somewhere? Well, now. we definitely don't want to be anywhere near the mooring. I want to be less near than we are now. Okay. And uh, let's go 40 north. 40 north sounds great. Bridge now. Can we move 40 meters north, please? <coughs> well, we are getting a little uncomfortably close to dangly bits on the bottom that are really far away from us right now. Those waypoints, they're infinitely tall. Yep. Well, if we do everything just right, we'll have the next watch set up. AKA we'll arrive on bottom just as it's time for watch change. Mm hmm They'll like that. They'll appreciate it. They should. We're doing it for them. Mm-hmm. How did the mooring release go this morning? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Yeah. Um tidied some stuff up and uh, the hydraulic cutter works great like yeah just yeah whoosh, boop, and the next one whoosh, boop, gone yeah. and the thing came up at it was really like fast, 25 yeah. minutes or something stupid 100 meters a minute it was like rocketing like to the crazy surface crazy fast yeah Yeah, the one from yesterday ascended quite fast, too. It was a little bit slower. It was like 75 meters a minute, but... Yeah, this is the fastest I've seen, I think. It's crazy. So buoyant. Buoyant. Hey, Trevor. Hey. We have a question about the ground fault indicator on Herc. Okay. This viewer says, I noticed on a couple dives there was a red ground fault indicator on the screen and wondered what was up. Oh, yeah. We have a red light on. <laughs> uh, that is set to a point where it alerts us that something is different than normal, but the red does not mean bad. It just means different than normal. So right now we have 406 kilo ohms. DC ground fault on Hercules. And an exercise for viewers at home. If you have 24 volts and 406 kilo ohms, how many milliamps is that? First answer gets a prize. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be right. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> I don't know if I want a prize from you. <laughs> what happened to the don't say anything? Yeah. The rest of the I said I didn't know if I wanted one. She's curious. Megan coming strong with the sauce. Yeah. Strong sauce. <laughs> strong. Saucy. Yeah. Saucy. I've got a hint. One is divided into the other. Sorry, what? One of those numbers is divided into the other number. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's a hint. Yes. Hint. Also, I'm not a viewer at home. I'm certainly very far away from home. This is where we live. Haven't seen here. land in months. <laughs> Don't forget to type kila into your calculators. For kila ohms. Units are important. Ohms that kill. Roger. I'll note it in my log. We're ready down the red book? Yeah. I think I've been slacking off on the red book. Have you been? Yep. Okay. What if you didn't? 
The red book is very important. Don't slack on the red book. <coughs> Great job. <laughs> you should draw a picture. Pictures speak a thousand words, they say. That's what, that's true. <laughs> the way you said they say was very funny there. Yeah. They uh, say. They say. Yeah, you what should you, draw a picture. What do you want to draw a picture of? Transition. Hand over. Just draw the other shit coming in. Just, just draw it. Yeah. Do you ever do any art? Do I do art? Do you do art? Yeah, I do lots of art. Do you paint? Do you draw? Do you sketch? Yeah, I do those things. All those things? Oh my gosh. Everything? Uh, yeah, I used to do ceramic sculpture too. Oh, nice. That was fun. Now do I don't really have a place for that, so. Fair enough. Did you have the wheel and everything? No, I, I don't own any of that stuff. But I did a lot of it in college. Oh, cool. And I majored in art as well as marine biology. Of course, double major, right on. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I painted a 100-foot canvas, and I made 5-foot sculptures. 100-foot canvas. Let's, let's uh, look at that one first. 100 foot by how wide? Well, it was 100 feet long. Yeah. And it was like 5 feet tall. Wow. How That's long did that take? Uh, all semester. Yeah, I'd say. Oh, my goodness. What, what was it? It what was, was it? like a landscape. Wow. That's uh, and wild. then I hung it in a circle so you could walk into it. Oh, cool. And the sculptures were in the middle. What were the sculptures of? They were just like abstract sculptures. Wild. Cool. What happened to that? How do you store a 100 foot canvas? It's in my parents' basement. <laughs> wild. Cool. But my mom has the sculpture in her uh, dining room. Really? Yeah. Five foot sculpture? That's a lot of dining room space. Cool. I mean, it's five feet tall, it's only like a couple feet wide. Cool. It's like this little tower thing. Okay, nice. Yeah. And I had to fire it in three pieces because we didn't have a kiln that fit that. It's all ceramic? It's yeah. all Wow. Cool. So the pieces stack together. That's pretty cool. That's it still a big kiln, though. Even five feet divided by three is still a big kiln. Yeah. No, it's a decent-sized kiln. Wow. All right. I fell over once First, while I was uh, making it. Our first answer is in. Uh, it says 59 microamps or 0 0.059 milliamps. Hmm. Math. I don't remember what number I actually said because <laughs> it's, oh. it's <laughs> changed. <laughs> You're supposed Four, to have the answer. 407. 407 is what I said? Mm -hmm. Oh. See, this is something you should have written down in the red book. Yeah, I should have, but I didn't. It Did changes a lot. It's in my head. Mm. What did the viewers say? Dangerous place to be. 59 microamps or 0 0.059 milliamps. Great work. <laughs> what surprise? <laughs> I didn't offer a prize. Josh offered a prize. Yeah, what's the prize? Are you ready? Yeah. Just wait. <laughs> Oh, well, next song. The prize is being prepared. <laughs> I understand. Tell me you didn't select that. I didn't. <laughs> Here, I'll give, I'll give you one. All right. Uh... Hold on. I'll give you a prize. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I promise. So funny. Here you go. Machine a well. I don't know the words to this. Oh, I can do the. I can do the. You want me to just stop for a minute? No, I can do the chorus. No, no. Pennies. I don't know the words. You get the karaoke oh, you machine out. Get the karaoke machine? Hold on. Yeah. What is going on in here? 
We have time to do it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm still not sure if this will be a prize or a punishment, <laughs> but we're doing okay. it. Okay, 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 <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. Where are we, are we starting again? Yeah. Through a wish in a well, don't ask me, I'll never tell. I look to you as I fell, and now you're in my way. <laughs> For a wish, pennies and dimes for a kiss. I wasn't looking for this, but now you're in my way. Your stay was This song is over three minutes Jesus long. Jesus. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Let you. This is I crazy. I can kill his mic if you want. Number, number, number. Who call me, baby? <laughs> I'm so regretting this prize selection. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope that's stuck in everybody's heads now. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I couldn't decide what octave to go with. <laughs> the changing was good, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's amazing? That was a surprise. I'm hearing it with the music going on, but everybody else... It's <laughs> 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 just you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Rennie. I hope you heard that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Oh look, this is <laughs> nice. I don't understand. <laughs> it's almost on look, time. Also, this email just came through. You spoke. Can we listen? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Oops. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That was, yeah, there's just no way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Your selection was bang on though after. Thanks so much for that, Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna pick something in my... <laughs> uh, and he was never allowed on SPL again. I think we should go farther north. I know I'm yeah. pulling, and the vehicles are going to slide back. But yeah. We're doing the hydrophone first, aren't we? Where is the hydrophone? Um, there's a hydrophone thing up here. Hydrophone not yet observed. Maybe we should go up there. Let's go up there. Let's go up here? Let's go there. All right, let's go up there. All let's right. go, like, way up there. How far is that? It should be 59 meters at 53 from the IP. Okay. Well, let's go 60 meters at uh, 045. Bridge nav. Can we go 60 meters at 045? Just gonna drive around. Let's just go every which way.
Mm-hmm. I just wanted to stop it from pulsating. You didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. I don't know why the arrow's stuck, but that's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, Megan. Yes? How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Um, we were talking on watch last night about, uh, well, different watch from this one, but um, about different research vessels and like regional class research vessels versus bigger ones. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just curious because I know you've sailed on, well, how many different uh, vessels have you sailed on? Um, besides Nautilus, three other vessels. Yeah. Are they, are any of them regional class vessels or what are they? They were all, uh, world class, like they could go for sea, uh, for a long time. So I sailed on the Okeanos Explorer, uh, the Kaimikai O Kanaloa and the Kilo Moana. Cool. Yeah. How many times have you sailed on Nautilus? This is my fourth time. Sweet. All right, I am switching out with Kim. Y'all have a great rest of your watch. Bye bye. Good luck in All the right. blue water. See you later. Bye, Marley. Good. Bye. Uh, Trevor. What do you want? Oh, fine. Okay, I'll slow down. It's up to you. What does this do? Hmm, not a lot. What did you do? Just want to see what that is. O E O two B. Or not two B? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a video question. Hey, Pete. Yes, sir. What is O slash E02B? I have a preset on my panel here for that. It's a video input. So that's probably uh, a converter. Usually when you see o, o slash E or E slash O, it's optical to electrical or electrical to optical. So it's a fiber to coax or fiber to SDI. Okay. So, what, so what would I be seeing on that? Um, punch it up. Nothing. It's black. Yeah. Here we go. So it's probably a utility converter uh, that's uh, routable. Okay. That's how, um, when you just see those letters, it means it's not assigned to anything specifically. So, So oh, if you were piping in some 
new video source somewhere Coming that you could run somewhere. into that. Yep. Cool. Yep. Thank you. I keep in the back row have some utility O slash E things. So everything is fiber connected between the vans and the mm -hmm. lounges and everything downstairs. And then if like a scientist comes on with a laptop with a special instrument or something, we can route it. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Visible bathymetry, it's flat. Yeah, cool. It was kind of hard to read the things. Yeah, totally. Color choice is a little challenging. Shit, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, it's in stealth mode. Yeah. <laughs> where it aligns with the grid. <laughs> yeah. I was like, where did I'm just changing heading. Our locations are going to spin. Everything's fine. Oh, wow. Gone. That's a purple siphonophore. It's in our brow bar now. Mm hmm.
Are we doing a vertical transect right now? We're just ascending oh, okay. as fast as we can. Oh, max power. Full beans. So the core ash came the in beans. about uh, the lasers, and they are 10 centimeters apart. What's that black box? This? Uh, up to the right a bit. That, that? one, yeah. Oh, that, it's like a <coughs> outlet thing. It's like a, a little <laughs> thing that attaches to... Oh, it's plugged this in. plugged in thing. And does it go anywhere? Well, it's plugged in here, and it goes <laughs> up here. And, and that's, that's the end of it? it? Yeah, that's where it goes. It's a little box with wires in it. Neat. Yeah. It might be Dan's thermostat. Oh, neat. But I'm not sure. Wireless? No. It's, it's not wired it's to anything ex except oh, for the power. That. <coughs> I'll take a look at it. He was telling me it's over there. Hmm. There's a thermostat over there. There's a adjustable thing. That's just a fan knob. Is it 3D printed, Megan? Yeah. If it's 3D printed, it might be Dan's. Yeah, it's 3D printed. It's definitely wireless. Whatever it is. <laughs> it's zip tied there, too. Uh, we are at max power right now, so right. it looks like we have 40 minutes cool. until we reach the seafloor based on this rate of descent. It's a mystery. Mystery box. Mystery box. Mystery box. Was there anything in it? There's some wires in it. Oh, okay. It looked like maybe some hot glue or something too. Yeah, some hot glue. <laughs> it's a craft <coughs> box. Mm. Yeah, that's the, that's the thermostat. Cool. <sighs> Blue water, find the things in the van that you've never seen before. <laughs> so many things. Like the ceiling remote. Mm -hmm. Where's the rubber ducky? Oh, it's right there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> rubber ducky, you're the one. <laughs> This is what it has come to. You know, you guys, I'm going to have to put some cameras on in here. Because <laughs> when you're describing things, people want to see. The thing I like best about that rubber ducky is you magnet it to something, mm -hmm. and then you give it to somebody else to magnet, but the magnet's like fallen down. Yeah. So they're like, that doesn't stick. They're like, how did you do that? Oh, just, <laughs> just like this. Just like this. You gotta be fast. I liked it when it was on the ceiling. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. I pulled it down because I was bored and fidgety. That's fair.
I just liked when Danny discovered it on the ceiling and it was just like blue as mine. Rubber ducky on the ceiling? Uh-huh. How long has that been there? Oh, has it always been there? <laughs> it's always been there, yeah. Has he seen the gullible sticker yet? Have you seen the gullible sticker yet? Oh, I don't think I have. Jacob finally looked at it today, but did it's he? above the... Yeah, he did. Were you not there for that? Ed convinced him to look. He, he didn't look, but Ed took a photo of the ceiling and showed him, and he's like, oh, there really is a sticker out there. This is gullible. <laughs> <laughs> it's above the video chair. Nice. He was like, nope. Nope. I'm, I'm not, not going to look. I'm not I'm that not, gullible. I'm not, you're not going to trick me. You're not going to get me to look up there. I'm like, okay, it's there, but you don't have to look if you don't want. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's very funny. It's funnier that there is a sticker there and people won't look than trying to get people to look at somewhere there isn't a sticker. That's like the <laughs> now, dad joke. Now, Ed should take it off, try and get somebody else with it, pretend to take a picture and show them. Right. Or try to get me with it. Like, hey, check out, I, moved, I did something to the gullible sticker or whatever. Like, oh, it's gone. Trick what's me. The, what's the opposite well, of that? Well, that would be doing something to it. Oh, I didn't do anything. Check it out. <laughs> You're right. Needs work. <laughs> like we should put an antonym for a global on, on instead of the global sticker. Oh no! Suspicious. What have I done? What's the an What's the opposite of global? Global. I don't know. Questioning. Yeah. Find a, find a. Researching full. I don't know. It's <laughs> not a word. We can ask the thesaurus. Pessimist. This would be a good prize. Children get I can't believe nobody wrote in about your singing. I really hope that that just gets left alone. <coughs> <laughs> Call me maybe. Even the one person who is supposed to be their prize, I'm surprised they didn't write in, being like, Stop. Um, this is my address, send me a real prize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here are antonyms for gullible. Okay. Astute, discerning, knowledgeable, perceptive, Ooh. suspicious. I like perceptive. I li yeah. Perceptive. Unbelieving, untrusting, wise. Unbelieving. <laughs> I, yeah, unbelieving might be a good good one to put out there. See the global sticker? Unbelieving. So if you're gullible, you're not wise. Is that yeah. hmm, unwise? Unwise. You're unwise. I don't know about that. That's just what thesaurus.com said. Like I needed more antonyms. Why am I so hungry? It wasn't at lunch like an hour, or two ago, hours ago. Yeah. yeah. What's going on with it's me? almost cookie time, though. That's true. Yes, it's almost cookie Hopefully time. Hopefully, there's cookies. I don't think there will be because it's cake day. Yeah. Oh right. Cake day. Right. <coughs> right. Good right. Sunny's birthday. I uh, I tried one of those things that looked like cinnamon rolls that were on the table for breakfast. Mm. With they the black shiny. No. Or with the white dust. The white dust, Kay. and they were spirally. Yeah. They were not cinnamon rolls. There was no cinnamon in there at all. What are they? It was like blueberry and um, blueberry like walnuts or something. Oh uh, yes, the old blueberry walnut spiral combination. <laughs> yeah, it tricked me. I was security. all excited. What's that? We talk about lulling you into a false sense of security. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Dress it up like a cinnamon roll and it's full of blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you were here for a conversation yesterday when we were talking about the container of raisins. <coughs> Someone said there was really dried blueberries in there. Oh, really? I don't know. The dried blueberries would be better than raisins, but not by much. Why? <laughs> the blueberries are on the right. The raisins are to oh. the left of the blueberries. Blueberries should just be illegal. <laughs> what? There's also dried gullible stickers in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't like dried blueberries there, Dave? I just don't like blueberries. You don't like blueberries? No. I don't know yeah, if I've ever had a dried blueberry. Either. Turn on an SPL and say that to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, make no, let, let the world know. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. Oh. You're just very quiet. Let's turn you up. Is it? Yeah. That's probably a good thing. If it's quiet, I can't offend anybody. <laughs> I feel like I can only hear you with my left ear. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm just smiling and nodding. I don't know. Is he talking? <laughs> That's just like being at home. Are you, like in the Are you in the upper one or the lower one? Upper. Okay. Oh, yeah. Confirmed. There we go. Yeah. So Dave is taking a stance against blueberries. Yeah. yeah so what's the yeah. story there? There's no story. They should just be illegal. Be illegal. Yeah, just get You're rid just of them. Just gonna like veto a whole fruit. Is there any other no, fruits you don't like? No, not all fruit. Just a, but just, a just whole blueberries. fruit. Just blueberries. Just blueberries. Yeah. Not strawberries, blackberries. No. Raspberries. Lovely. Good. Apples. Yep. Watermelon. Mm, yep. I like blueberries. I just mm. don't like them in what appears to be cinnamon rolls. Surprise blueberries are not my favorite. I wasn't sure about kiwi fruit to begin with, especially when I was younger, because it was just a little bit too furry to be a fruit. You don't eat that part. But yeah, some people do. I mean, oh, it's yeah. edible, but like it is. I yeah, don't it takes like a while it. to figure it out. They do have kiwis now that aren't furry. Because they shave them or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they yeah. have they hire people to just go and shave the kiwis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's where all the sheep shearers go in the off season. <laughs> Kiwi <laughs> shavers. <laughs> That sounds mm. bad. It's more it, like a felt, though. Yeah? Is that what you're talking peach about? Peach fuzz. Yeah, Wait, well, do you like peaches? Yep. They're fuzzy, though. Blueberries aren't even fuzzy. Okay, I don't, I don't understand. Blueberries have tiny, tiny hairs. Do they, though? Have a tiny what? All berries do, really. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have to citation needed on that one. <laughs> I have a blueberry bush in my yard. Mm, well, then you can go in and do inspect you have a it. Mic do you have a microscope in your yard? I don't have a microscope in my yard. Yeah. Your phone can work as a microscope. My phone, my phone cannot. One's phone could. Mine is unable to. Because you have like a flip phone. I wish I had a flip phone. That would be so cool. I do not. I just have a phone that is, has no microscope app. But you could. <laughs> have that ability if you really yeah, wanted to take a photo and zoom in it's microscope enough mm -hmm. more like a macroscope i don't know what i'm saying and let's just move on from that one <laughs> they do have pretty sweet usb microscopes nowadays oh yeah they can plug into your phone or your computer or whatever well they also make like uh temperature and like mini ctd probes for your phone too yeah. ctd you just cast your phone into the ocean and see what happens <laughs> yeah. well, you, you can, you, it's only as long as the wire is but sure yeah, yeah. that's wild yeah that's cool. like like a little little probe put on your your phone i have a borescope that i can plug into my phone it's great for around the house you can see in behind appliances or through holes in the wall or whatever oh that's cool yeah, it was like seven dollars. Oh, that's even better. I couldn't not buy it. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. It's not good, but it sure does exist. Well, well you know, it could be helpful in those situations. Yeah, you I don't used need it, it to be perfect, like total. you know, 4K. <laughs> I've definitely got my seven dollars worth out of it. That's good. Do you think there'll be ice cream with the cake tonight? Mm, no, ice cream's Sunday. only for Sunday. Yeah. Hmm. Or for well, Nautilus birthday. Ice cream that but it is quite a special there. birthday though, isn't it? Ready, yeah. Rennies or the ships? Rennies. The ship we got everything. Soda, yeah. ice yeah. cream and cake. Yeah, but she was fifty six. I don't think Rennie's that old. Like no. <laughs> Rennie's definitely not. Fifty people charging around the ship on a sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> And then crashing shortly. We'll see. Thereafter. We'll just have to wait and see. I wonder what kind of cake it's going to be. I bet it's going to be yellow. Yellow. Uh, yellow cake. Yellow Lenny cake. doesn't like um, frosting, I think. So I wonder if he gets like a say in cake or just a cake appears. Usually can, people do not get a say, yeah, which is extra just, fun. You just get a cake. And the birthday song. Hey! 
Well, that's good, because otherwise we'd have a frostingless cake. <sighs> I mean, I could really go for a carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. That cake that we had the other day that was spiced, that was mm -hmm. pretty good. That we yeah. couldn't quite identify what the orange in it was. It's kind of carrot cake adjacent. Mm -hmm. uh, those brownie type things they did, yes, was it oh, yesterday? Yeah. yeah, that was good too. They were good. Yeah. yeah. I think it was the day before we had the spice cake with the same kind of glaze on the yeah. top. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I noticed that the other day. <laughs> I mean, like, it's it's our time. But it says UTC, and it's still wrong. Yeah, I noticed that the other night. Is it off by hours or minutes, Megan? Oh, the well, the bridge clock is on local time. That's off by minutes, but it says UTC, so it's off by hours and minutes uh, and seconds. Mm. Yeah, this computer is off by three minutes as well. I tried to fix it yesterday, but apparently I need admin access. Mm. Here's the guy to tell that to. Oh yeah, Justin. Which computer are you using? One of the utility computers? Uh, it's the SCF. Okay. Something or other. Mm-hmm. I think the distance we were offset from the waypoints this morning was 25 meters when the ship's heading was like this. Oh, really? 25 so meters? So this is actually going to be perfect. If Atalanta comes down there, yeah. it'll actually be here, and then her can rip. Yeah. Oh. I think so. That stays the same. Who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. Yeah, you know, we can always move the ship. Yes. Whoa. Way too fast. <coughs> Oh, 
Oh, there's a question for our Canadians. What is your favorite regional food other than poutine? Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> Beaver tail. What did you say, Josh? Hmm? What? He said beaver tail. Beaver, beaver tail. tail. Yeah. Is that really a thing? Yeah, it's very good. Deep fried. Okay. Nanaimo bars. Yummy. I really like those all dressed chips. Oh, not, good one. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a Canadian, but that's what I really like. What is it? All dressed chips. Mm -hmm. Is it like a flavor of chips? Yeah, yeah. it's Cheesy. a flavor Hawkins of Hawkins cheesies. Oh, another deadly. Yeah, absolutely. Jeez. Hawkins cheeses are, you get them at Costco, eh? The big bags, the small bags. Oh, yeah. Dangerous game. So it's too simple for Costco. <laughs> Roger. I still haven't tried your favorite ice cream, Trevor. The Tiger Tiger. Oh, yeah. You, do you like li uh, licorice? I do. Oh, then, yeah, you should try that. Oh, my old man love that ice cream. The yeah, it's good. Stuff. Yeah. It's hard to find. It is hard to find, yeah, but it's deadly. Is that a Canadian flavor? I've never I don't know. Uh, no, we I don't, don't have it so. here. I don't know. I Island don't Farms know. makes it. I just assumed it was Canadian because <laughs> I've never seen it. Yeah, I've never seen it either. I also haven't tried the cheese and corn flavored ice cream. I did That's see not Canadian. It's not Canadian. <laughs> um, but I saw it at H Mart, and I was like, hmm. I'm curious, but I'm not so curious as to buy a large container of that. They have some odd uh, ice cream flavors. I think I just saw something about um, there's this place that makes, like, condiment-flavored ice creams. Oh, ketchup like, or something? Yeah, ketchup and mm. mustard and soy sauce. And hmm. There's ketchup chips. That's a Canadian flavor. I mean, I could probably go for some sweet chili ice cream. That could be good. Yeah. Mm. I know a person that recently won a contest and is going to get 10 pints of ice cream of a custom flavor that they get to decide. Oh, really? Oh, so wow. he's trying to decide on whether it should be like some, you know, apple caramel or something semi-normal oh. or something like apple? bread. Pick something stupid like shoe. Shoe? Wine shoe? Ten pints of shoe flavored <laughs> ice cream. Yeah. No, just put a whole bunch of everything that you like, just put all of it in there. Mm, right. It's going to be so awful, though. This like isn't like being mass produced. Yeah, wakeboard flavored. No, it's only ten pints. Ten yeah. pints. And they sun. get it? And they get all ten. Sun. Yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> I like ice cream that has like that like fudge swirl. Yeah, like a caramel swirl like that. But wouldn't you want to try something world. you can't get anywhere else? Like, yep. you've had stuff before. Yeah. yeah. I have an ice cream maker, so I sometimes experiment oh. with ice cream flavors. Have you ever made bread-flavored ice cream? I have bread not. Hmm. I don't know if it would taste, like, much different than regular ice cream. Well, bread what kind of bread do you get normally? That oh, sounds like guess, good bread. I guess I feel like you use, like, wheat bread or something. Yeah, my friend asked me to make her a goat cheese ice cream oh, once. That sounds good. Because wow. she had had it, like, in the Midwest somewhere. And so I made it, and I was, like, very questioning, like, how it was going to turn out. But it kind of tastes like cheesecake. Ooh. It was, like, um, oh, yeah. goat cheese, and I think uh, I put, like, a raspberry jam in it as well. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pizza flavor. My friends ice cream. that own a chocolate factory in Kailua, <laughs> they make a uh, goat milk uh, chocolate bar. Oh, okay. Cool. And it has kind of a cheesecake-y flavor. Yeah. It's really good. Your friends that own a chocolate factory. <laughs> yeah. Those are people to be friends with. Yeah, I yeah. used to live on their chocolate <coughs> farm. <laughs> what? Yeah, my Manalo. You used Manolo. to live on a chocolate farm? used to live farm? on a chocolate farm. Yeah. That's a fun fact. <laughs> okay, is it, a, is it a cocoa <coughs> farm or is it a chocolate, like, factory? Oh, well, like, their house is on, like, this farmland uh -huh. in Waimanalo, and they have a bunch of cacao trees. Huh? And they have a chocolate factory in so Kailua. All of the above. Yes. So okay. I got a chocolate, chocolate question. Uh -huh. Chocolate question. What's the difference between cacao and cocoa? We know, we know what I mean. I'm pronouncing them weird, but what's cocoa versus cacao? Cacao is like the seed pod. Okay. Like in the tree. Yeah. And cocoa is the roasted beans that have been ground up into a powder. 
Ah. So it's still, still the same tree. Yeah, same, still same stuff. Just farther down the processing line. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. so it's already been processed. So when you have a tree, it doesn't ju just turn into chocolate. You have to <laughs> melt the tree. You don't into just chocolate. like you don't just pick the pluck a bar. Pluck, yeah. yeah, pluck the yeah, the fruit off the the tree and like get chocolate. You have to ferment the fruits, which uh, then like ferment them. Oh wow! Yeah, you ferment them. Who knew? Yeah. And so it's like a kind of a long process. And then you have to dry the beans and then roast the beans. And then you have to winnow the beans. What? Get winnow, get the shells off the bean. To winnow is to get the shells off? Yeah. So you do, win do you winnow pistachios when you eat them? I guess so. <laughs> and you know I like that, that like in pistachio that like kind of paper? Yep. Yeah. It's the, the cacao the beans have that kind of around them after oh, they've okay. been dried. There's really easy to, to break off, but you need to crack that. And then um, for chocolate, I mean, you can eat the, the beans as is, and then it's called cacao nibs. You can put okay. it on top of your, your yogurt or something in the morning. It's really delicious. Hmm. Or, cool. But it's you know, more like dark chocolate bitter. Like it doesn't have... Oh, well, I actually, the beans taste different depending on where they're grown and how they've been processed. Mm. And how much, how long it's been roasted? Just like with ch with coffee, with coffee, right? It, they actually use a coffee roaster to roast the the chocolate beans. Does it matter the altitude it's grown, like coffee does, like with chocolate? Um, there's different regional flavors, so okay. altitude could ha be one of the factors, but also you know your soil type and cool and all sorts of things. Yeah, so I know like coffee is very coffee is very altitude dependent. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that makes any sense. Like a thousand to fifteen hundred meters is a perfect coffee growing. Altitude, apparently. Yeah, that's why know. they grow a lot on the Big Island because you have all the different altitudes. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, coffee grown in different places could have like <coughs> fruity flavors versus more like roasty, earthy flavors. Mm -hmm. And so they they specialize in making single origin and chocolate bars from different places cool. uh, in the Hawaiian Islands, and then they. Originally, when they started, they were sourcing beans from all over the world, from single growers. Wow. Yeah, it was really, it was really fun. And then you just grind those beans down, and it becomes chocolate. And you just add your sugar or milk if you're making a milk chocolate bar, and ta-da, you've got chocolate. But you also have to temper the chocolate. It's very, very particular. Very complicated. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's like a whole process. It's not something that you'd want to do at home. I mean, you can. It's definitely possible, but it's a lot. It's a lot. It, cool. it takes a long time. It's like making beer, you know. It, it takes a long time. Lots of steps and temperature control when you're tempering your chocolate is key. Otherwise, you get it to be like that kind of crusty flavor, crustiness. Yeah. It's yeah. not bad, but like. Everybody loves their chocolate when it's shiny and smooth. Right. Mm -hmm. Not like all separated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. if you don't have the right temperature, the uh, the butter will start to separate. So I learned a lot about chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, we have too. Cool. It's great. Yeah, it's cool. I'm getting hungry. I think I want something chocolate. Oh, we did have those brownies yesterday. For yeah, that was really good. Those were pretty good. Maybe we'll get chocolate cake for Rennie's birthday. We'll see. I don't think I've ever had a chocolate cake on Nautilus. Yeah, they've all been kind of like a whitish cake White with cake. like a whipped cream frosting. Mm -hmm. And fruit. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the fruit on my cake. What about Skittles? <laughs> Lots of Skittles. We do have those white Skittles. I think those are gone. Oh, there's another bag. Oh, okay. White Skittles. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> that was an impulse buy at Target. <laughs> Between you and Danny bringing the, the sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Lifesaver at night. Yeah, Danny night went shifts. a little crazy on the, the sugar snacks. <laughs> Is he just here for this one trip? He was here for the transit over. Oh, okay. And is he going to be here at the transit back? No, no. We're flying home. Okay, so he really does need to eat all his candy, like, in the next five days. Yeah. I'm sure we can help him. 
He's not planning on taking most of that, anything left over home, just because it's a lot to travel with. Yeah. Of course, most of these things could just stay with the ship and it'll go back home for us, <laughs> yeah. you know? Get it in eight days after we come in. Get close. Hmm? Get close. Mm-hmm. So close. 280 so meters or so. And so close to shift change, too. Mm-hmm. Taxi service. I guess valet service. I'm not going to drive them around. Yeah. <laughs> Fanciest valet, they should tip you. Yeah, that's what I keep saying. <laughs> that's why we started leaving the handovers as a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, let's just kick up a bunch of dirt. I yeah, I'll just auger into, the, equal. auger into the sea floor. <laughs> that Jeez. wasn't said, Megan, at all. No. no. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> I think that was unjust, but still it was funny. <laughs> Dan wanted a five minute warning. Just in time. <laughs> Well, Ricky, I haven't seen a dive plan. Is this going to be a long dive? 
Yes, the white board downstairs says it recovery is scheduled for 6.30 a.m. tomorrow morning and at the moment, moment we don't have a printed dive, dive plan. I believe Dirk just went out to do so. Oh, okay, great. So yes, this group will be back three in the morning. <laughs> Three in the morning is a good time for bongos. For what? Bongos. Bongos? <laughs> Who's bringing the bongos? I don't know. I just. <laughs> I think we're going to Berkeley. It's shallower. Was that our first dive site? I can't remember. Our first oh, dive site was Holger. Yeah, okay. That was the one where the visibility was bad. Yeah, it was only like 70 meters or whatever. Yeah. 90 meters. Going back to bongos, are those a candy or is that, are we <laughs> literally speaking about bongo drums? I'm gonna guess bongo drums. Oh, she's talking. Bongo drums? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought there was maybe that was a candy or something. Oh, no, <laughs> okay. it was just drums. Pete was okay. excited. What other candy do you have back there? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know of any candy called bongos. <laughs> I wish it, we should make some. I think it'd be delicious. They could be like shaped like Rolos. Yeah. Rolos are good. Mm -hmm. But like peanut butter and caramel or something? Ooh, a layer of peanut butter, a layer of caramel. Mm -hmm. Like where your head's at. It'd be kind of like almost like a snicker bite without uh, what? peanuts. Four beams. Oh, look at those beams. Yeah, the tall stringy thing is right here. <laughs> Ninjas. Oh, that's fun. Is there a new toy up there, Megan? This is, yeah, this is the ROV toy that Trevor was telling me about. How does, how does it do the thing? Good morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. Afternoon. Morning. morning. Sure. It's all morning. It's always morning. Oh yeah. We don't. We don't do any other time of the day around here. It's morning somewhere. No, I just woke up, so it's morning.
All right, you want to bring uh, Atalanta's heading around? I can do that. Right now, I'm at my zero happy poise. It's a nice way to start a ship. You walk in and ROV hits the bottom and oh, off we go. It's called the Rockstar Watch. That's right. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. It's a traditional way we're used to. We got the Blue Water Watch and then, you know, Terry and Terry and Ian would walk in and take over like, right okay, as soon as we hit here. bottom. All right, I want to find Atalanta and the tilt camera down and yep. keep coming around and then we'll descend to the bottom. Come on, camera, behave today. There's a tether. Coming down. Thank you. Okay, so Jake, have you guys dived here before? At this spot? Uh. Your shift was on last night, right? Yes. So you're aware of the mooring that's still yeah. down there? Yes. Oh, it's all warm. <laughs> one was recovered and there's one left, cor correct? Presses. One left, yeah. Yes. All right, coming down. Coming down. Ramming speed. No. <laughs> 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 How to make the navigator upset in one simple step. <laughs> Bottom acquired. All right. Dan, can I get a comms check from you? Check, check. Thank you. Check, check. Thank you. I think you might miss your chance to use the hydraulic cutter again. Why's that? <laughs> I mean, uh, this group. Oh, they will. Yeah. Oh, they will. They were miss so excited to use it yesterday, and then it was like after their watch was done. Yeah. We got to use it on deck. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I think you guys should just uh, let us cut the cut the cord. <laughs> just cut everything. Just, go and have fun. <laughs> just cut one of them. You <laughs> just know. Just go at it. There's two wires there. <laughs> no, I'll stop on the winch there. I'll stop on the winch. Oh. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's a big hole. <laughs> what? That's a, Whoa. That's a really what? neat hole. What, what, what is going on there? I think it's an old borehole, maybe, or something. I don't know. Did they do any new mission, uh, munitions uh, around here? No, I think it's an old cork site or something like this. Not 100% sure, but on our map, there is a... Where are we relative to the IP right now? Uh, we are northeast of the IP. Northeast. Yeah, I don't have anything on here, but I do think it's an old maybe cork site or something like that. Cork site. Like an old hole, drilled hole. Oh. Interesting. Oh, like for oil? No, no, just for uh, research, I guess. Not by uh -huh. ONC, but pre ONC. So I think this was a studied site at some point, right? There's a star in there. Yeah. It kind of makes it I look like a swimming down. pool. <laughs> I want to go in it. <laughs> Perfectly Herc size, I think. <laughs> <laughs> size can be deception. Uh, yeah, but then you <laughs> land on all those creatures. What do you. Uh, what are you lighting up there in your Atlanta sonar? Is that the mooring out there? No, we're not that close to the mooring. What's that to down the in south? There, that black thing. To the what? Uh, oh, like the thing that kind of looks like trash? Oh, that's yeah. uh, 20, 40, 60, 80 meters off in Atlanta sonar. In which direction is that? Uh, south. South. Was that I a mean, cushion that star? could be it, uh, but our <coughs> mooring should be closer to 140 meters south. 
Yeah, uh, it's a slime star. Oh, but there's one in the very right. Uh, yeah, the lower right corner, the purpley one. Yeah, yeah, it's a slime star. So we're kind of so we're north northeast. Could there is a um, a hydrophone up there somewhere, like towards the northeast of the platform, sixty yeah, we, meters we northeast. Yeah, we settled out a lot further away than I thought we would. Okay. But yeah, the hydrophone is up here. So that could be maybe what we're seeing in the. Oh, but it's in Atlanta. Yeah, no, that's definitely not it. Uh, it's gone now. I don't see it anymore. Do we want to white balance? Let's do it. All right. Danny, bring your arm around. I need comms. Let me turn on some comms. <laughs> Got your uh, Danny camera. Yeah, I need a fixed uh, salvo here. Boom. Oh, good. We still have that camera. Comms. Yeah, I think off screen on the deck there, they're working on getting the uh, hydrophone ready to go over the side. I can reach into the hole for you. Down lights coming on. You just want to do it? Oh yeah, go for it. Like connect in there? Of course, yeah, that's fine. No biggie. Join in. Hi. And the front lights and lasers off, please. Lasers off. I don't think I'm allowed to play with this anymore. It did not make me a new dive log. That is annoying. Alright, the video's gonna go dark for about 10 seconds. Roger that, going dark. Thank you. Yep. All right. White balance complete. Okay. Okay. So we have to head southwest? South southwest? Yes. Yes, yeah, so we'll start our the dive at the IP. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna steal your uh, bubble. Thought we just wanted to go to the hydrophone. Start going transit RV. Transit to JB is what our step one is here. Oh, my but step one says navigate to hydrophone. Oh, I'm still on the <laughs> descent step. Oh. Transit number five, or descent number five. But then we want to go to the hydrophone. Okay, we can go to well, the, the hydrophone. Hy the hydrophone's closer. Well, we can go there, and then I just want to look at a little bit of the cable route as well, just to make sure everything's clear. Okay. What are those pink things? Thank you. I don't know. You mean right up to the left and above the star? Yeah, there's like two pink balls. Yeah. Jelly. Jellyfish. <laughs> Probably an enemies. Yeah. Like more more little interesting little is really the big bag ones. thing over on the Oh, yeah. I'm going to zoom there. Probably a <laughs> contractor <laughs> bag or something. Do we want to pick up the trash? No, we don't. No. <laughs> You're like, no. <laughs> looks Dan, like we found your like bath a towel. shirt. <laughs> it's a little shirt. Huh. Um. <clears throat> okay. Okay. 
so Trevor was saying that the other day when we had this heading, yep. things were 25 meters off, so it should be over here. Oh, okay, that might, might actually be reachable. Okay. Okay. Copying, hear me? That hole is really impressive. It is. Aliens. Yeah, that's that aliens. Was, that was my exact thought. <laughs> but we said it was probably from a there's. old work site. <laughs> nope. There's a target 22 meters away. Yeah, I think they're old um, drill coring, coring kind of thing. Look at the crust, I believe. Yeah. Old, old projects of a non ONC. That's where Jimmy Hoffa is. Yeah, some of our sites were kind of pick based because they're already used to be popular research sites as well. So we kind of just capitalized on that. As well. I don't think I'll be able to reach, but I see it. Yeah, see it. All right, I'll move you. 20 meters is good? Yep. Bridge nav. I mean, if you think about it, it'd be a great place to hide Jimmy Hoffa. Hi. Um, can we go 20 meters uh, 225, please? Long is true about the hole in the bottom of the sea. Yeah, there we found it. And there wasn't a log or anything. <laughs> People are very interested in this hole. They're asking us like how deep it is, like the size of it. Um, I think you could kind of get a relative idea based on the critters we saw down there, like the sea stars and the sea cucumbers. I think we should have landed in it. <laughs> I, I was saying it perfectly her size. It looked her yeah. size, yeah. yeah. But the size of a small car. Yeah. <laughs> You probably put your car in there. The size of a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> yeah, upside down. Oh. Upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I always wanted one of those. The new ones I or still the do. original? I like the original, mm -hmm. but the the now new ones. I I think since they've gone a little bit past, more back to the original shape. I like them a little bit better than the bubbly ones. Yeah, there's a old uh, original one. Um, kind of in Cancun area in their underwater museum. That's cool. Mm -hmm. oh, we could start a museum off of Hawaii with the amount of old cars. Oh yeah. You got like Model T's and REO speed wagons. And Why so many cars? Oh, because they didn't know what to do with them, so, you know, you found <laughs> the greatest trash heap of all and just threw it away. Uh, in the 1950s, uh, off of Oahu, they used the junkyards and, like, you know, old cars, military surplus, all kinds of things. Do they, so be, do they become, shipping like... them back to the mainland, they just took them on a barge and took them out to sea a couple miles and dumped them. Yeah, do they become, like, oral. artificial reefs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sort? Yeah. oh, yeah, there's lots of life on them. But it's really cool to go and uh, explore the uh, the trash heaps. <laughs> Do they still have their tires on them? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I... Yeah, yeah some they of just, them do. I mean, I swear, some of them just drove off the back of the barge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> drove themselves into the water. <laughs> Danny, do we have the stills camera on right now? Oh, good yeah. question. It's just not connecting when I... Try, it is it on, but we could power cycle it. Make it um, we could turn our lasers back on. Is yeah. That something you want? When you are ready, if you can. I'll power cycle the. Yeah, DLC. power cycle the stills, yeah. Megan, can we get coordinates for this hydrophone array, please? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting until we get a little closer. Thank you.
and uh, our uh, tracking settles down. See, our little snake trail won't come back either. Come back, snail trail. Oh, let's hope so. Let's hope it, uh... Well, we know who the admin is. <laughs> Wait, whose face is that? Dan's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to enter into photo. this. Oh, there we go. Oh. There's a knuck in it. it. Takes it a minute to boot up. You hear the news about the Nucks there, uh, Dan? Yeah, I did. What's the news? They uh, the are Really? Yep. No more Nucks. That's too bad. So not the oh. Vancouver Canucks, huh? <laughs> no, unfortunately, we're not talking about hockey. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> How much does this thing weigh in water? Any idea? Yeah, I can give you that number. It might even be on the dive plan. Mm. But otherwise, I can look it up. I don't think it is on the dive plan. I don't see it plan. on the dive plan. I didn't see it nowhere on there. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll look it up for us. I believe it's um, in water, like, almost 300 pounds, but okay. it, uh, let's see. That's close enough, roughly. <coughs> yeah, I've got that. Pretty easy access. Dan, which yep. pip do you hit to put the still camera over? <laughs> uh, oh, hold on, I'll come over there and show you. I keep yeah, it's got to be PC2. PC2? Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> Fail. I DP, front and center. I, c I can route it in there uh, to any of the PCs, so oh, let me know. Come on! Yeah, it's. Ah, you hit there. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're going to get really close to this thing eventually and do the connection. And get a really good heading and <coughs> position. Okay. Um. It is. Danny, is there any of the PCs you want me to route? Cool. The still camera too. Any that you're not using right now? No, I'm good. Any of them? Pick. Pick one. I've got that one. If I if I want to see still cam, I'll just hit. I'll yeah. just hit still cam and have it right here. Okay. Ah. Cool. I mean, if you want to give me another screen right here, that'd be, that'd be cool. I'd go for another screen, but, you know, I'm just ADHD. want many as screen as possible. Screens everywhere. <laughs> nice. I do love this little panel here, though. That is the coolest thing. Thank you. Did you mention to Ed your desire to have another comms panel there? I did, okay. but you know, it is my only, my first cruise, so changing everything <laughs> takes time. <laughs> it starts with, the, with an ask. It starts with a pilot cam, moves from there. Okay. Dan, the um, weight of this thing in water is 300 pounds, or 290 pounds. Ooh. Alright. Look at that sea star. So happy. Oh. It's all curled up to fit. The happiest. Ooh, look at underneath us. We got a fish friend. There we go. Things are happier now. <coughs> so we're going to want to grab onto this thing? Can we grab onto this? Uh, you're going to unplug it and drag the cable back out of the way? Yeah. I guess we can grab onto that red handle. 
Everything That's else is fiberglass. I think he wants to uh, chase the cable out first. Oh, okay. I'm no, just going to have a look, see which where we want to put it, and then we can come and land in front of the connector panel again. Roger. Um, and once we're down here, if we can get a reasonable idea of where the vessel needs to be and where we can land the new one when it comes down on the winch, that'll probably be let us know how far back to drag the cable or which direction we want to land it. Okay. That's kind of a question for you, ROV and NAV. Yep. This cable heads out at 315 and then does an S. Does it do a little bit of a dog leg there? Yeah. Okay, it comes back. What kind of distances are we here to like that platform? Yeah, that's it like pretty close still. Pretty close. Yeah. Okay. That is so we've got a lot of slack on this cable. It definitely looks like it's about ten meters. Ten meters there. Can we get some uh, updated waypoints for the platform and the hydrophone on the uh, our, on nav screen, please? Oh, well, I'll put them down when we're closer to them. Uh, do we want to start with that, Dan? Yeah, that'll help us to yeah. line them out, yeah. assuming the ship doesn't change its heading. Okay. That's back to the platform. Hover over it there in bubble cam, Jake. I'll let her get a couple average fixes. Yep. It'll help us when we're moving the boat in the position. And then, old Ricky, this will give you a good location for it as well. Uh, So DVL homes there, or is that? Thanks, got them. Oh my god, weird character. There. <laughs> yeah, we still would have been able to know. Oh, the snail trail's back too. Yeah, it it's just takes a while to warm up, I guess. I don't know. I, I just click it on and off a of bunch, and then it comes back to life. Spam it. Yeah. 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 You got the magnum too, so it's okay. Good to go. Thank you. Okay, so what we're trying to establish here is the landing zone for the new frame. Okay. Something within range of the cable, but that also makes so sense mm -hmm. for the ROV and ship. So if you chase the cable out to the IP. Yep. Well, uh, but it should be to the south there. Okay. So do we need to be at the array when we lower things down or? Do we need to add be at the array? Yeah, so it's going to be that same procedure with a um, pink hook with a clump weight where we want to um, disconnect from the old one, connect on to the new one. So ideally, if they're close enough together to do that, that'll be the best case. What was that? Barely here, barely, yeah, barely here. here.